Oh, that one person said I have too much sympathy for people. So like, do you have too much sympathy for people or not enough self-respect for you? Not enough self-respect for you. There's a piece of where your sympathy becomes toxic because you give it to other people that are actually abusing you. Your sympathy becomes toxic, not enough self-respect for you. Hey, at this point, like, how do we actually change that? We have to actually change how you're actually looking at that on a day-to-day -day basis, because otherwise you'll give all this empathy to other people, but you won't invest enough in you to actually see to what you're giving is to a toxic person that doesn't care about you. Your sympathy becomes toxic. How you're actually investing in you on a day-to-day -day basis. How are you actually working on, you know, developing you to put you in the right mindset? where you have like your purpose, your vision, where you're connected with your relationship, you're going through that stuff of saying like, this is how I actually take care of myself. How much do narcissists actively use, choose sympathy and pity, please, to manipulate? I would say a lot. I was, it just depends Especially on the vulnerable. Person. Yeah, well, I probably have in the past, but more reason. I feel like the older I get, the less I do that, you know? Cause I don't, I don't like people to pity me. I just don't like that. I, I, would, I was gonna say I wouldn't see yeah. you doing the pity, please. I can see the sympathy, but not the pity, please. I, I do not want your pity. Trust me. I just keep it. I don't like people to pity me. You know what I mean? I don't want the pity.